Hey y'all, this is Emily, and today we're going to look at Squarespace's new header styles. So they recently added a bunch of design options for your header, also known as your navigation bar. So I pulled up a uh, template from Squarespace 7.1, and it doesn't matter which template you're using, as long as you're using the most recent version of Squarespace, then you will have all of these options available to you. So before we actually get into designing the header here, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you all of your colors on your site are set up basically the way you want them to be, more or less. So if you can have the bulk of your color palette work done, then that will make your job easier when it comes to styling your header. So you'll go to design and then site styles. And then you'll click on colors. And you can edit your palette as a whole up here, or you can edit individual um, details within each palette down below by clicking on one of the themes. So once you have all those set up and ready to go, then you can actually edit on the page itself to start tweaking how you want your header to look. So let's edit the home page here. You'll then hover over your header and click on edit site header. Then um, you'll stay in the global tab right here and you'll go down to the style tab. And this is where you can set basically your color settings for um, along with some other settings for your for your header bar. So by default, this template is set to the dynamic option. And so we'll start here and then clicking on this drop down, you'll see that there's three other options that you can choose from. And each of them are going to be slightly different. And it is a it can get a little bit confusing. So I'm just going to walk through them one by one. We'll just start from the bottom and then go up. So the dynamic is basically another, from what I can tell, it's another way of just saying that it's a transparent header, so there's no real background to it. Um, but you can, on this under this option, you can set a border. You'll see this on a few of the options here. So if you turn that on, it's going to box in the entire header. And what I usually like to do is change it to where there's only a line underneath the header because I don't really see a need in having a line all the way around most of the time. And then I'll change the thickness of that line to be small. And some for some websites, that looks great. It just adds a little bit of separation there. But we'll turn that back off for now. And then the another thing you can do is if you go back one more time, you'll notice that I have fixed position turned on. And um, I have it set to the basic option. So that means that what this means is as I will scroll down on the home page, the header is actually going to stay visible. So it will scroll down with me. And um, since I have it set to basic, it's just always going to be visible. So I will show you what that looks like real quick, because this is another part of the color uh, selection process. So I'll save this. So yeah, as I scroll down on this page, watch what happens. Now there's a solid background behind it, and that's just so that it's always legible. But you'll notice that it's black, and changing that black background color is actually going to be a little bit of a different fix. So let's go back in to edit this page. What you would do to change that black to a different background color is you actually need to edit the section below it. So this first section where we have the big hero image, we're going to click edit on that and go over to the colors tab. And if we scroll down, that's where you can see that it's set to be the darkest one theme. And that's why when we scroll down, there's a black background um, set to that uh, header. So let's change it to the light one theme. And you can see that the background color of this on top that's on top of this image changed to that light purple, even though it's kind of hard to tell. But let's save this and then I'll show you what it looks like when we scroll down the page. Okay, so as we scroll down, now you can see that it has that light um, lavender color. 
So let's move on to the next style option. So we'll go back in. Um, I'm going to return this section to the way it was just so that we can see, clearly see all the differences. So I'll go back in to edit the header and then go back to the style tab. Now, um, the next one above that is the theme option. And this basically just pulls up all of your color themes and uses that to determine what color your header is going to be. So if it's light one, then it's going to follow all the rules that the light one theme has on it. So I could click on bright two and that would use that as the theme and it does not affect the, the section below it now. It will still be there. Um, if you go back, you'll still see that I have fixed position turned on. So it will still stay at the top of the page as I scroll down, it'll scroll down with me. But now it has its own color theme um, independent of anything else on the page. Okay, so that one's very straightforward. Then if you go up to the next one, it's gradient. And this is fa fairly self-explanatory. Um, you'll see that the background color is set to white. So this time you're not using a, th a preset theme from your site you are setting these colors completely on their own. So you can set the background color and the navigation color here. Um, and then, so you'll see like the white background color is more solid at the top and then it kind of fades out as you move down. So again, you can add a border and this is the same exact um, option that I showed you before, or you can add a drop shadow, which is slightly different, but it still can add a little bit of a separation. Um, and you can change the color of that drop shadow here. Then uh, with this gradient, you can also change the opacity. So if you turn it up to 100, that's what it would look like. It's not too dark. And then you can take it all the way down to zero if you wanted to. Um, but if you do click on the background color, you will see that you can set a custom color or you can choose from your palette. So let's click on this dark teal right here just so you can see how that would look takes a second to kick in and then i'll change the navigation color to our white from our palette so that's another pretty cool option it helps the navigation stand out just a little bit without having it be a, like a solid block of color then the last option is solid so this is just like the theme option, but it's a little bit different because you can change the opacity this time. It is, it's not a gradient because as you see, there's a harsh line here separating the header from the section below it, but it is technically still sitting on top of the background image. So if you change the opacity, you will see a little bit of that image come through. And then just like with the gradient, um, style option. You can set the background color and the navigation color all on their own and it doesn't affect anything else. It doesn't affect your other color themes. Um, if you wanted to on the gradient or on the solid style, you can blur the background. Um, so again, that can, that kind of has like a frosted glass look, which could be kind of cool. And then again, you have the options for border and drop shadow, which are the same as the, the previous option. So that uh, pretty much covers all of the new styles available to the header in Squarespace 7.1. And um, they do have a tendency to change these a lot lately. It seems like they've been experimenting with adding new features, but um, as of December in 2021, this these are the options that are available to you. And if you want to see like a written breakdown of all this, there's also a resource um, page from Squarespace support, which is called building a site header. And you can click on header background styles to jump down to that section of the page that just walks through everything that I showed you. So um, let me know if you have any questions about this and feel free to check out my other videos walking through some of Squarespace's more recent features.